Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays at Lego, the episode 2 of building this um, flamboyant X-Wing. So at the end of the last episode I said I was having all kinds of problems trying to get the nose cone to stay on, and between episodes I managed to come up with what I think is quite a cunning solution to that, and that was using two of the, uh, a number of these 1x2 plates with the extra stud in the middle on the top, and that means if I attach a couple of them onto the onto the fuselage, and then a long piece going from that onto the onto the uh, nose cone, it'll hold it in place quite rigidly. And if I do the same on the top and bottom, then as you can see, that actually holds it together really quite well. I'm pleased with that solution. It's um, it was bugging me for a while, but it's now sort of a nice. It it feels like I've got the um, the nose cone well attached, and it hasn't fallen off yet. So I think that's uh, yeah, good enough. Then there's sort of a bit of detail and a backrest and stuff behind the seat, and um, what's this bit? Oh yes, and a support in the um, in the uh, front of the fuselage to hold the uh, the lid once I actually get around to making that. So there's another bit here that's supposed to fit in and has a rounded front and no studs on it, but I didn't have one of those, so I've basically ignored that piece and just carried on from there. So now we're building the lid. This is again another one of those bits where I don't have exactly the right pieces to go in here. I'm, I'm so I'm going to try and make approximately the right shape, and there might be a little bit of pixelation here and there, like this front end here, as you can see on at the bottom of the screen. There is supposed to have a narrowing for the uh, for the for the nose cone, but I don't ha I don't have a bit quite that right, quite the right shape for that. So I'm just going to have to make that a bit a bit squarer. And again, we can sort of have another layer to clip that together and it's, it's, it's in three pieces at the moment but hopefully we'll have some bits that will hold that together in a moment or I'll, or I'll jig something up so that it's um, misaligned slightly so that it holds, actually does hold together and another layer this is all fairly straightforward. It's just lots of long piece, long plate pieces all, all clipping together uh, to, to give a sort of a, a bit more of a rounded effect on a shape on the top of the, uh, the fuselage, rather than having it just being one one large block. And I think we're eventually going to start putting in some um, flat pieces, some of the pieces that are smooth on top as well to create again that sort of gradient going from the studs to the smooth to the to the level below. And in fact, that's what I think is what's going on right at the front of it with the letter and the black bit. They're just there to provide a bit more of a sort of a gentle slope towards the front of it. There we go, bit of a test fit and that seems to be about the right sort of size. Of course at this point I don't I still don't have the hinges to hold the um, the side panels in place. So I'm I'm just test fitting it at this point. I don't really want to attach it on there until the until those extra pieces arrive and I'm able to actually secure everything in place properly. Uh, just because I know I'm going to have to take it apart again and, and, and I'd rather limit the amount of dismantling and remantling that I have to do. But yeah, that seems to go in, uh, seems to be about the right size and the right shape. And the task there is to, of course, to fix this in place. And there's a few little bits and pieces to hold it, hold it on and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Now we're starting to build up a bit more of the cockpit as well, the inter cockpit interior. But there's quite a lot of bricks I don't have for this, so I'm going to have to um, make that up in, in a little while. Now this next part here is uh, ridiculously complicated. So there's a, a big chunk of fuselage that goes behind the cockpit that contains the um, all the cogs and levers and system, the cunning system of levers and pulleys that's designed to make the wings open and close together. So you lift one wing up and the, the others all open and close together. Uh, I'm not doing any of that because I don't have any of the, um, the Technics pieces required. I don't have any of the, the long uh, axles, I don't have the gears and so on. So there's, there's no point in even trying really. So what I'm going to do instead is just build up a box of about the right size to make it look right and give it, give it the right sort of acting you feel and then try and come up with some sort of elaborate way to attach the wings on either side. I think it's probably just going to involve hinges and won't be too, so it won't be too complicated. The difficulty is going to be making the hinges stay in the right place. So we'll uh, but that's a, that's a problem for at least episode 4 or maybe 5, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but at the moment I'm following the instructions here working up the um, up the back of the um, the, the very back of the X-wing. So this 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 bit part is actually cosmetic. So I'm going to try and make it look as reasonable as I can. Um, obviously, there's a various pieces I don't have, but uh, at the moment, it's, it's not going too badly. We're getting the, the right sort of approximate shape out of it, anyway. And again, it's asking for lots of those L-shaped pieces that, as I said, I have a few of them, but nothing like not 
not in anything like the sort of numbers this model's calling for. But most of the time I can approximate it with, uh, with a 1x2 and a 1x1 and they'll both hold on to something and then you'll usually be able to put another piece on top that will hold the whole thing together. And so it's, yeah, it, it, it's approximatable, shall we say, even if I can't get it quite right. I think I ended up, yeah, I ended up using a square for that one, which is not quite right, but it'll, it'll do. I don't think it interfered with too much. Have a quick through, look through the instructions, make sure I've got everything um, everything as accurate as possible. Okay, now let's work out the uh, length of the whole fuselage, because this this part I'm going to, I'm get, as I said, I'm going to build it just as a sort of a, a large brick. So I need to, I need, but I need to make sure it's the right length so that all the detail on the top and bottom it, uh, looks right, and it's the right, it's the right size to make the X-wing look good. And of course, because at some point I'm going to build an underside for this as well, and the whole thing needs to come together as nicely as possible. So. This is where I was trying to work out where to put the hinges in so that the, uh, the wings would pivot in the right places. Uh, I experimented a fair amount with this, just putting them, them in slightly different places, and eventually just thought, well, let's let's stick them in now uh, in what seems like a sensible place, so near the bottom and about halfway up, with assuming the wings will hinge off the top of them. And then we'll, we can always fix that later. It's, it's Lego, it's not like it's permanently, permanently fixed together. So I'm trying to follow the instructions approximately to get this general box shape and get it the right the right size and I think it's it's not too bad there's a lot of sort of the the part 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 height pieces um, using the using the third thickness plate and the bricks in sort of next to each other which it throws it off a bit and it means you don't have quite the same um, structural rigidity along the whole length of the thing because you've got some points where you've got several bricks stacked on top of each other not meshing with the ones next to them quite the way they're supposed to but at least when you get to the top of it and you can put a piece all the way along the top to give it that um, rigidity then it stops mattering quite so much. With the box section being quite so open and, and therefore flimsy I also was thinking a bit about whether I should put in any sort of cross beams in it in order to hold the whole thing together and I eventually did end up putting some in, but there's there's that worry that anything I put in at this point that isn't on the um, on the instructions will interfere with something else I'm supposed to be building. Uh, so whether it's where the way it clips onto the main fuselage, whether it's the way the bottom part goes onto it, or or even the way the wings are mounted, although that's not going to be quite so much of a problem here. Um, any of those things could cause some problems. So at the moment, I'm just sort of I'm trying not to put in too much other that I too much other than what is shown on the actual diagram itself. Here we go, that's some uh, cross struts to give the whole thing a bit more rigidity. Uh, sorry, length, lengthwise struts. But I don't think that was working quite right, <laughs> so let's try it again. Ah, here we go, yes, and at the front of it there's some sloped in bits to sort of t to match around the, uh, the back of the cockpit area. So I need to make sure I've got those right, uh, because those are bits that will actually be visible. And then there's a nice sloping effect on the top of it, and that's to uh, give it the sort of the, a slightly more rounded shape because an X-wing isn't just a, a flying brick. So this is where I uh, delve into the um, massive pile of slightly more rounded bricks. And I think I ended up on for the second level of these. I ended up going for the one by for the three deep uh, slopes instead of the two deep slopes um, because I was running it basically because I was running out of the other pieces. So it's it's not quite the shape that you're meant to have for the X-Wing, it leaves a bit less space for the greebling on the top, but then I don't have all the greebling that I'm supposed to put on the top anyway, so it's probably a good thing to re reduce that a bit. And I think it gives it, and again, it gives it a more rounded shape, which is probably okay, and um, I think you'd have to be very, very familiar with the original model to, uh, to recognise that it was that, that's not how it's intended to be put together. Along the top here, I did what I could for some greebling, so there's um, a tap in there, a sort of a grabby thing, and some other um, other bits and pieces that I found lying around. It's it's a rough approximation of what's going on in the original um, X-Wing model, but it's not quite, it doesn't look quite the same, but it hopefully gives us the right general idea. And maybe when I finish, I'll go in and put a bit more in there if there are any pieces left over. See how, see how that goes. And there we go, it's the rear fuselage coming together. Now this is where I hit one of the biggest problems with with what's going to be the sort of the final look of the of the model. Um, this um, cockpit canopy piece, I don't have anything remotely that shape. Uh, that, um, I've got a small cockpit canopy that I ended up using, um, but it, but this one's about is about twice the size. It's 
it's 50% uh, wider, probably a good 50%, maybe twice as long. It even goes up higher. It's a very, very clearly a bespoke, very bespoke piece for this part of the um, for this model. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, I don't don't have one of those. So, and um, I had a look on eBay to see if they were uh, realistic to um, to pick up, but they're about 12 quid for that one piece. And that, given that I'm trying to make this with as fewer pieces purchased as possible. I thought that seemed a bit excessive and I just, yeah, I wasn't really prepared to pay that. So this is the approximation I came to with the um, cockpit canopy. There's the uh, a long flat piece on the top to give it the, the length it's supposed to have and then build it up underneath with some um, straight pieces, although I think I, I came up with a better idea than that for, for those in a, in, a, in a few moments. But I mean, it's approximately right, but it doesn't give quite the um, the shape and feel I was I was hoping for with on, on that part. But I think that's something I'm going to have a have a uh, bit of a think about and come back to in a, in a in the next episode. So until then, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you're enjoying this. Leave me a comment to let me know what you think. See you next time.